for that one. Welcome to the kitchen, guys. Making his debut on the show this morning is Chef JD. Hello, hello, Hi. hello. Hi, hello. I'm good. How are you doing? I'm fine. Good morning. Good morning. So he brought a bit of pizzazz with him into the show. And this morning he's making caramelized hot dogs and pina colada. Mm. Pina coladas are one of my favorite cocktail drinks, by the way. So thank you. Thank you. Anyways, let's run through the ingredients for our caramelized hot dog. Yeah, we have um, the beetroot. Okay. So beetroot. Bringing beet a bit of health into this. Yeah, you get uh, it. Nicely beetroot done. supplies blood, and mm. I feel like we should just play with food. Fruit, okay. So we have the beetroot, we have the hot dog, the mushrooms. Onion, bread, of course, Swiss cheese. Let's create magic. Wow. I'm loving you already. Let create, <laughs> let's create magic. That's the magic of food. Now let's go to our pina colada. Yeah. What are the ingredients? What goes into that cocktail drink? Pina colada, I mean, a lot of pina coladas have been around, mm -hmm. but then we try to like take it to a bit of simplicity, okay. more of health benefits. Okay. So in our pina colada, we would have the pineapple itself and then the coconut milk. Some might like the shredded coconut and might not, but then we would use the coconut milk because it has the scent of it already. Okay. So, and then we had... Um, we had, there's this, it's called the pina colada syrup. We just had a little okay. bit of it a to enhance. A little bit of it to enhance the yeah. taste. Yeah. Yeah. But I will try to make it simple. On your screen right there, the ingredients, people, just as the weekend is upon us, it, what better time to make this lovely breakfast that we are serving you this morning? Pina colada and caramelized hot dogs. Yes, Besides kids on holidays, they're going to eat this up in every way. Now let's get cooking. So what are we starting with, the sausages or the, what else? What so, are we starting with? Uh, let's go with the beetroot. So we just fry the beetroot. Okay. So it can come with a crisp and... Okay. Um, you know, when you, when you say caramelized, what yeah. actually comes to mind are onions. Yeah, the onions. You know, so I thought you were going to have like some really good looking onion rings that we're going to caramelize. Of course, yeah, cheese. Oh, yeah, that's onion. Oh, yeah. So we're taking it step by step. Okay. We'll go into the onions. Okay. And then we'll caramelize it with, with the, the hot dog and, and, then, the, oh. and the honey. It's... I am really looking forward to this recipe. This is something I'm definitely going to try out tomorrow because I'm going nowhere. I'm just going to be chilling somewhere while Mike is there drooling. And I'm going to send a picture to Mike. I say, Mike, look at what I'm having for breakfast this morning. <laughs> just in case you miss out on the ingredients, guys, it's right there on your screen. We have our honey, onions, our hot dogs, um, and our hot dog bun. We have our Swiss cheese and... Um, Beetroots, yeah. yes, and we have our flour. So what's the role of this flour here, by the way? The flour is to, we would have to roll the beetroots in the flour because we cannot fry it just like that. Ooh. So at the end of the day, it's going to come with the crisps. Ooh, and nice. then it comes crunchy and nice. sweet. It, go, it, goes with the, it goes with the mushroom and the honey. See, whoever is our guest today, <laughs> are you sure that you're going to have a piece of this breakfast? Because I seriously doubt it. <laughs> just kidding. Let's go All right. So now, yes, beetroot. Beetroot has amazing health benefit, guys. I know some of us look at this in traffic and you're like, eh, no, please buy that beetroot today and enhance your, you know, immune system. It's actually an immune booster. It has so many health benefits. You cannot even underestimate it or overlook it, guys, please. And um, so right now we are slicing up, chopping up our onions. And what are we going to do with our onions, too? Yeah, the onions is what we are caramelizing with the this. With okay, the, with the beetroot. Yeah. Okay, so, so we are we going to? Um, okay, so let's move this here. Let's create create space for um, your chopping board so that everyone can be part of you know what you're doing here. So let's move this over here. Great stuff. Uh, I see that you're making use of white onions. It has a special yeah, onions, kind of yes. flavor that it gives to your meal. That it is just, you know, amazing. Uh, so um, let's, let's move this up a bit. I see here we have a plate full. OK, so let's move this away from here. OK, we don't need this. OK, great. So we've created enough space for you to work with. Fantastic. All right, so um, I see that we are heating up our vegetable oil already. Yeah. And then when that is well um, heated up, we are going to, you know, 
um, wrap our beetroot in our flour, yeah? Yes, please. And then we're going to fry that. Yes, please. Give me an idea of what it tastes like. So beetroot come, they don't really have a taste. We can't position them to a taste. Mm. But then... But it's got that, it's got a bit of um, a tangy, or like, like a, it's, yeah. it's, it's there, but it's not there. Yeah, it's there. It's not there because you can't really tell if it's sweet. Yeah, you can't but tell it's, if not it's, sweet. Bitter it's not either. bitter either. Yeah. It's just it's there. It's just there, yeah. yeah. Okay. And, um, hmm, So nice. you're cutting and up the bread. mushrooms. Yeah. Yes. So, there are different kinds of mushrooms. And people need to be very, you know, we need to let you know that the mushrooms we are making use of today is the one that you get at the supermarkets. Okay. Not the ones that you go fishing for in the forests or in a swampy area, please. Do not eat those mushrooms. They are not helpful. They are not um, healthy and they are very harmful, please. These ones are made, oh, sorry, they are bought from the supermarket. These ones are edible mushrooms. Please take note of it. All right, great stuff happening here in the kitchen. Pretty excited about this morning breakfast. We have Chef Jading, he's getting to work, and ooh la la. And breakfast is almost served. So we have started, Chef Jaden has started. Joe, well, let's remind you of what we are making here in the kitchen today. Let me not get ahead of myself, because I'm pretty excited. I'm sure everybody can feel it. Anyway, Chef Jaden, over to you. We are making caramelized hot dogs and pina colada this morning. And on your screen right there are the ingredients, but I'll let Chef Jaden just reel through the ingredients and you know through the process and where we at right now let's go Jaden. so we are done with the grilling of the hot dogs okay. and then the bread it's almost done so we want to move to the pina colada yeah so let's talk about what you did for the um, caramelized hot dog first of all so yeah, in the pan I have mm. the onions okay. and the mushroom okay and then you add a little bit of honey okay. to make it caramelized it depends on how much you want your okay, so let's take this off so that people can see what it looks like yeah. So it depends on how much you want your mushroom soft. Some mm. people like it soft, some like it hard, but okay. it, it depends. And okay. then to, to balance the sweetness, mm. then it has to be the quantity of the onion you put in it. Okay. So you have to like continue like grilling till you get the texture okay. and um, the taste you want when you're done with the mushroom and the onions and the onion, That's fine. Once okay. Too much of it. Okay. So it can be balanced. Then you come to the hot dog. Okay, okay. So now that our onions and mushrooms have been, you know, caramelized with honey, which look really, um, which is turning out really nicely. And uh, right now we have um, our hot dog. Um, I see that it's been um, toasted already, right? Great. And then we have our sausages already um, sauteed and they've been fried and they're ready to go. Yes, I see that we also have Swiss cheese here. Yeah. That um, it's, I see that you melted it, yeah? yeah. Yes. Okay, all right. So, um, yeah, so let's just show them how it's done. Especially with, we have our beetroot here, yeah, which, beetroot, which is yes, yeah. the, our crunchy beetroot, yeah. So, um, yeah, let's just quickly show people how you, you know, layered um, the hot dog. Yeah, so first off, we have to like uh, the bread. The okay. hot dog has to go into the bread. Okay. And because the hot dog... It's quite chunky. It's chunky okay. and then it's hot. So it gives the bread is some sort, sort of... Sort of soft texture. Thank you. Okay. So then we had the cheese, the Swiss cheese. Okay. After the Swiss cheese and then we control it with the... We have the, we have the We have the sauce. Okay. The sauce is made, it's ranch. Ranch sauce, like yeah. a ranch dressing. Yeah, like ranch dressing, okay. but then I had a little bit of, you know, okay. for my own sake. Okay. And then we have the beetroot on it. The beetroot is to balance... Oh, the taste from the hot dog yeah, the to the so, cheese yes. and to the dressing. Yes, so okay. when you're biting the hot dog, mm. it's kind of hot, and the beetroot mm. is going to, like, make you feel... You, you probably want to understand what you're eating. So you right. take a little bit bite, and then it comes. Anyway, so to everything make sense. just basically, you know, gives that. It, it makes it. It becomes a marriage in your mouth. Like yes, it makes. Exactly. It, all right. Let's just head over to our pina colada. So our, for our pina colada, we have our coconut milk and our pineapple. How do you make this? So first of all, we have to extract the pineapple. So we go by this. Okay. So if you do not have this at home, not to worry. All you just need to do is just, you know. Um, 
take off the skin, the pineapple skin. Yeah, and um, yeah, so once we're done with that, we're going to put that in our blender, yes? Yes, please. Great, and then add our coconut milk. So we extract the pineapple. Okay. Ooh, it's that looks gonna come good. With juice. That looks really good. And well, if you're wondering where we got our coconut milk from, well, so you, there are two ways. You could actually either get one from the supermarket or you could make your own coconut milk. All you just need to do is get your coconut, you take out the um, coconut, and then you chop them, you blend them, and then you extract the milk from the shack. Very easy, easy um, recipe for, you know, making your own homemade coconut milk, basically. So now that we're going to um, pour in our coconut milk, blend that up, and we are good to go, right? Great, our pina colada is ready, our caramelized hot dogs are ready, and we'll have to go right now. Please stay with us, we have an interesting guest next. Aiden, and this morning, he's uh, made for you caramelized hot dog Ooh. with a pina colada. Okay. Right. So, we are going to, we need you to taste this in sharp, 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 sharp. Okay, yeah, so we know that. that you are on a fit farm journey. <laughs> yeah, so. And we hate to be the ones to load you with those calories. Okay. But, but she said she, she, she tries to, you know. You can try. She cheats. Uh, okay. so she can always try. All right, yeah. so please. <laughs> so you're going to let's do that. Grab a bite. Let's grab a bite. Ooh. Oh my gosh. Mm. Mm. So what do you think? Love it, like it. Mm. I love it. Not mm. bad. Yeah, yeah. Okay. I love it. It's nice, beautiful. nice. <laughs> All right. So Great. while you have a taste of the pina colada, we have to wrap it up right yeah, here on the show. Do. Thank you so much, Chef. Mike, thank you. Thank you. Any of that ridiculous words of wisdom goes to you this morning. And remember, respect yourself. You are eating hot dog. <laughs> a dog in Kita, in Enugu, is not a lion in the US. A dog is a it's dog. It's a dog. <laughs> Thank you to all our guests for being here. Thank you, Jaden. Yeah. Thank you, Amanda. You are an absolute darling, yes, by you. the way. And yes, all our guests for being here. Thank you, thank you, thank you. It's the weekend, baby. Whoa. Monday morning, 7 a.m. We will be back. Bigger and better. Have a great day, everyone. Bye. -bye. Bye.